the fundamentals of skating. Brought to you by How To Hockey and sponsored by HockeyShot.com. Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. And Scott from The Science of Skating. In this video, we're gonna teach you guys how to stop. Now there's a progression to learn to stop and there's all kinds of things you can do to build on it. So we're gonna teach you the fundamentals of stopping, basically how to not run into the boards. Let's get right to it. We're here with Scott. He's been teaching kids and adults how to skate for over 30 years. So uh, Scott, let's say I just stepped on the ice and I uh, don't know how to stop, have no clue. Every time I try to stop, I either fall over or do a full 360. How do you teach me how to stop? Well, it's really simple and we start basically from what part of the blade you're trying to slide on. And a lot of kids, a lot of hockey players in general will come in and they'll turn that way and almost fall on the rear end like I just did. So what you want to do is you want to get your, more, your, your weight more up near the front of the blade. So you're more up here. And, and that way that blade will slide. So then this, the progression is, first time through I do a, what I would call a snow plow stop, which is knees bent, head up, turn the toes in slightly and push the feet out. Okay, and then the next step I would back up and I would go on one foot and I would just do half of a snow plow stop. So the one foot sliding out in front. And then for the final progression, the full hockey stop, what I do is I slide that foot out in front, I bring my other foot back in and beside. The key again is what part of the blade you're on when you're trying to slide. If you're at the heel, you'll turn. If you're up near the toe, it'll slide nicely. Okay, Scott has given you the basics of the hockey stop. Uh, we're gonna progress past that to more of a game situation type stop and talking about balance and why it is so important. Okay, now I'm sure by now you're getting sick of hearing me say it, but we need wide base and low center of gravity again. That's the key to almost everything in this sport. When we do full hockey stop, you're going to skate here, you're gonna come in. Now the biggest mistake is everybody likes to keep their feet tight together. The problem with feet tight together is number one, I have no base, so I have no balance. Number two, I stop going this way in the game because I wanna go this way. All I have to get going the other way is that from there. So what I want you to do for me is I want you to come in and stop, but I want you to let your feet come apart. So you establish your base and you establish your low center of gravity. That gives you balance. Plus, if you want to go the other way now, you have one foot to push with and one foot to pull with, and they work together to get you going in the other direction. Scott, you've done a great job of explaining the progression that a hockey player can take to learn how to stop, and then we've also covered the type of stop that you're going to use the most in a game. What about some of the other ways that a player can stop, or sort of like the more advanced ways of stopping? Well, certainly there is different ways of stopping depending on your level of hockey play. Um, the more advanced players can do, there's a million ones. You can come in, you can stop on one foot this way. Not recommended simply because are you balanced on one foot or are you more balanced on two feet? That's one. Then the other one, you'll see guys in the, in, in the higher leagues all the time, they'll come into the bench and they'll stop on the back foot. Okay, that also is perfectly acceptable. Again, there's a million different ways of stopping, but there's one way that's the best in a game situation, and that's this. All right, guys, those tips should help you stop better. Remember, the purpose of the stop is to change directions. So we want to be the most efficient we can at stopping and going in the other direction with speed. So try to do that as efficiently as possible and get that speed going as quickly as possible. And for more tips on that, you can watch our videos on edges and watch the video on acceleration as well to help you be a complete player in getting a good stop, using your edges, accelerating and going in the other direction. So thanks a lot for watching the videos. Thanks to Scott for teaching you guys. And don't forget to check out our other videos in the series of skating.